guess what? It's me. It's Heather. It's Stasis. It's part two. And we're about to put a severed hand that we cut off a man onto this screen. That's the plan. Ha <laughs> ha I rhymed a little bit. I don't know. It's, it's 3.15 in the morning. Here's a severed hand. Please tell me I'm gonna like get rid of it afterwards. Now nah, just like keep it in my pocket for funsies. Access granted. Welcome, Yuri Linov. That's me. <laughs> How'd you know? Cool, the hand's gone. Oh, we just Ooh. left it there. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I want to go here, but I guess I gotta. I don't know. What in the mortuary? Uh. <laughs> supposed to be called. <laughs> I don't know what to mess with first. Let's mess with discarded. Why are they discarded? I mean, obviously they're just sitting here for, you know. Aubrey Henderson, Thomas Ro... Is that an, an S? Jane Doe. Okay. Let's see here. Can I, like, look closer at these? Body was discovered in the crew quarter bathrooms. Arms have been cut from wrist to elbow. She bled out in seconds. Next of kin will not be notified until the end of her contract. Parent suicide, suicide, uh, autopsy requested, autopsy cremation, compound fractures along the femur, hairline fractures along a dislodged clavicle, shattered from penetration of crowbar through skull, several unknown growths present assumption is from external sources. Body was found in pieces badly decomposed, stomach content contain how about you like look how about you go to this one so i can see the rest of it oh wait it looks like suicide's checked off pieces of bone what oh, okay how did i get over there <laughs> i was reading the reports and then suddenly i was over there what did he just do an indistinguishable shape oh he just tried to he looked at he he looked in it i can talk oh should i have saved my game in the pool? I don't like being in a new room. Alright. Um, the faint outline of a rusted red metal handle is visible through the frosted over portal. Hope oh, can't look in that one. Ugh. Combustion bodies, high temperature, facilitated by open furnace. A series of interlocking teeth are wrapped around the mechanical wheels. Ooh, boy, why are you touching it? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> nah. Okay. What? Mm. Oh, do we have to open these to see if our. So we need to heat. Okay, um. What did he do here? He just tried to open it and code it and is that what the deal was? Okay. Um. It went dirt. I might have to take a poop towel and use it on the furnace. Yeah, poop towel. <laughs> Wait. Did, did I... The wet towel is wound tightly into the cog mechanism. Alright, can you open it now? Or is there something we have to do over here? Is the co <sighs> What do I- Is this where you like send a body through? I don't understand what you- I don't know what I was thinking there. I don't either. I'm just going to use everything on the mm. furnace. Hmm. I agree. A toe tag? I don't think this will fit. Oops. No, I meant to put it here. It doesn't work like that. Okay. What? I have to touch stuff over there. I should have been touching stuff over there the whole time. Oh. Um, bye. No, I'm not staying here. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, P. 
peek my head in? Is there a peek option? Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. Um. Well, why why can we like touch these empty ones? Nope. Okay. Cadaver. Okay. The bones make a rough sketch of the human form. Yep. Okay. Lodge crowbar. Well, there we go. Oh god. It's the crowbar man. Oh, so are these the three that the Oh my god. Oh jeez. So she can hear everything I say now. So is this one John Doe? Well, I guess I have a crowbar. Oh, I can open the boxes now, or I can try to open the boxes now. Y'all need to quit running around being crazy. You little monsters. What? I'm gonna need you to chill out. So once I get this tram working, where do I go? Your best bet is to find the medical access terminal. The medical wing is on that tram line, so it should be a quick ride. Thank you, Tia. And, Tia. Um, I'm sorry about your friend. Just be safe. Um, tram. Tram, tram, to tram, just creep by the body. Do, 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 do. Do I have to go through the thing again? Okay, good, no. Um. Come on. Right over there. Yeah. Oh, you're missing a fuse. All right. Can we steal one from this box? What is this one for? Um, oh, wait. I just need to recharge it, right? I'm going to just take that and go back here. Whoops. I want the... Oh, I can't do it from close up. Open my freaking menu. Okay. Now, now, can I recharge it? Let's try to recharge it. Oh my god, cat! Quit jumping on my shit and being crazy! Okay. So I just have to. Okay. Oh, yeah! That was quick. Okay, the trap's powered. Okay, cool. I guess I have to redo the... If I actually want the tram to work. I'm gonna need to take this back. Okay. Does that mean, like, I can get on the tram and it'll do a thing now? Let's find out. Or wait. No. What was my other option on here? Oh wait, are we on one? We're on two right now, so. Hold on, destination set. Okay. Please manually switch lines from internal tram control. Okay. Okay. Let's go. So can we go in the front of the tram now? <gasps> tram powered up. <gasps> tram controls. Yes. We're gonna drive us the tram. How do you go? 
That just says, oh shit. Okay, okay. bye everybody. Oh jeez, Louise. How long? How long what? How long ago was the evacuation? My family would have left with everyone else. With the people that made it out. That's a... Well, I'm not sure exactly. Mm-hmm. That blood looked pretty dry. It's been a while. We've been stuck in this death trap for about three months now. Three months? There were four of us recently. During I were the last. Oh, we good. We were the shutters. It was almost dark. We were even about getting supplies when... Well... Was it you? I, I, I mean... Why is that the first question you ask? Oh, can I sit? No, I can't. What happened? You're asking all these personal questions right now. How many of your cockroaches do you I what? kill with it? The fuck? No! Let's talk about this! This was the last straw. Who is this clown? I'm coming for you next. And as for your little end. Warning. Brains disabled. Low pass filters disabled. Structural integrity problem. Excuse me. An evacuation is advised. He's going to be around the track. Of course he is. Cool. Hmm. I was about to say, what do I hold on to? Oh shit. Shit, son. That was nasty. Oh, okay. Is that all? Is that all? Game over. That's it. You're done. Oh, oh. We're loading. A little bit, I guess. Oh shit. What the hell happened? I could, I could barely make you out. Are you hurt? No. I think I'm okay. You think you're okay? I need to get out of this tram. It's okay. We're saving the I game think first. I can make um. The jump. Jumps. Mm -mm, I don't trust anything. Especially after that big loading screen. What? It's just like anywhere. Just jump anywhere. Just Boy, you're making me nervous. I don't have any more options. <gasps> Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> shit, that was close. That was real close. I'm I'm fine. <laughs> you're, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Hello? Shit. Tia? Come in. Radio's not working. Okay, get it together. The sound of his unplanned parking first. procedure still reads in your head. Uh -huh. Ring, rings I? in my head. Ding, ding, ding. Evacuate, bitches. Okay. Uh, nylon emergency tape. Sure. I'll take it. Crash tram. Debris. Hmm. I could use this. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is the leaking metal walls. I guess this is the only way to go. Oh, ooh, censored. What the hell's going on in this poster? I'm terrified. It's like everything is censored on it. What what room is this? This is such a weird little room. What is it? Oh, PDA. Oh, yeah, PDA. Okay. Albert Olson, engineer. 
Can you certainly spare no expense in the engineering decks? More often than not, the air conditioning breaks fast and the maintenance can come back to fix it. The walk to the restrooms can exceed 10 minutes on a good day. It's of no consequence. With the lush retirement package, you can just prepare for me. I'll happily work in a, with a cardboard box lined with thumbtacks as a rest prepared. Are you sure? Are you sure? Thumbtacks? A cardboard box lined with thumbtacks? Mm. I'm scheduled to receive my new heart and lungs over the next few months, at which point I may finally retire to join my wife Rosalind in Chicago. Until then, cigarettes and food of the highest saturated fat content will continue to carry me through the day. Oh my god. This evening, I was surveying the equipment on the decks when I noticed something rather unusual. A very fine layer of some sort of fungal substance is beginning to settle on the machinery. Ew. It's even found its way into the dials and monitors. They look filthy on the inside. Given the conditions around here, though, the growth of mold on any surface should come as no surprise. But it seems to be interfering directly with the performance of, of the groom links. So, so it's of some urgency that's taken care of. I'll report to maintenance. Hopefully, they'll be quick in cleaning it up. No, they won't. Can Corporation must be pleased with my performance so far. I woke up to promotion. I'm in charge of the construction of the new cloning vats. Effective immediately. I have little time to elaborate. This job is important and urgent, I believe. Okay. I never anticipated that the project would be on such a huge scale. Clones will be created in mass quantities, utilizing several megavats fitted with special equipment and enrichment liquid to accelerate the growth process. I must enhance the rate at which we'll be creating clone batches. They've invented a method of manufacturing human beings faster than humans can biologically. Why would we do that? Project Seed insists that the cloning vats are put to use immediately, despite the fact that they're far from complete. The vats can certainly sustain the cloning process, but some safety precautions are lacking, like the holding chambers for research clones have no power rod to them, so the electronic locks are useless. The walkways above the vats are still only temporary. O'Sullivan fell over the guardrail and into a vat yesterday. Had it not been filled with sanitizing solution, we would have lost him. The clones appear to operate entirely on instinct. One of the complete human clones in Vat Theta bit a good chunk out of Miss Keen. Ew! Ew! Three other completed research clones tore through their holding chambers and analog locks last night over in the labs. They found Peters bent over backwards with his head between his knees. He's not going to be walking again anytime soon. Maintenance will be fixing electronic locks this evening. O'Sullivan is asked to be assigned a different project. Bent over backwards with his head between his knees. He's not going to be walking. He's not dead? O'Sullivan's request was denied. Keen, however, has been transferred to Project Seed. I've been stealthily increasing the portions of food to Elon's batch of VAT 449, although they're just heart and lungs. I can't help but feel an attachment. Additionally, we've noticed a massive organic matter that has sprouted a tail and swims around aimlessly. O'Sullivan wants to name it after his mother-in-law. Who in their right mind names a defective clone? Oh, Lord. Samantha, the impossible human fish monstrosity, crushed Elon with her thrashing as she was being removed from her vat. Most of the other clones in the batch have similar deformities. None of them actually grew into a heart and lung tissue as they were meant to do. In fact, the results thus far are truly horrifying. Great. Great. Everyone has been acting strangely lately. O'Sullivan didn't show up this week, leaving me to tend to the vats by myself. I don't understand why that's being permitted, but management would have most certainly dragged him down here by the cheeks if there's no legitimate justification. Speaking of cheeks, one of the complete human clones took a chunk out of mine when I was escorting it to the research labs. Oh my god. The groom lake has been completely locked down. A massive tremor shook and collapsed the walkways over the cloning vats. I'm trapped. I can't access the bulkhead. If this lockdown is anything like I heard the last one was, it should be over soon enough. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Two packs of cigarettes will only last for so long. Is that what you're worried about right now? I can hear screams of terror through the ceiling. They echo. Each reverberation is a reminder that I'm damn fortunate to be down here and not up there. Although my supplies are running out, I sincerely hope that I don't have to swim for it. If the clones don't give me cardiac rest from the aerobic exercise wheel. I'm going to attempt to swim across Fat Theta. I'll reach the other side and try to get myself to the next level of the ship. Clones have been violently floundering in the growth liquid. Given what they did to Peters, I might not see the other side of this vat. The remainder of this entry is to be delivered to my wife. Rosalind, I can only hope that I have the opportunity to deliver this to you myself. If not, I must attempt to express with words what I have longed to convey physically. Should I die before I can get off this vessel, every moment of my life, every cumulative experience has been influ that has influenced my being will scream your name, begging the reality of inevitable death to spare me, if only to touch you once more. I apologize for and regret every second I've spent away from you. Until that moment we first met, my heart was a void lacking the fierce fires of passion you've bestowed within. No matter the outcome of my escape, I will be long dead before they are extinguished. Aww. For an eternity after I've perished, you will live on. Your name will ring out through the galaxy, a testament to all of existence. There can never exist a love greater than what I have with you. Your love is my life. As such, I am immortal. Well, I'm sorry. Did you try- is this locked? Can I get into it? Oh, shit. 
Where the hell am I going to find the key in this mess? <sighs> okay. 2151. We left in 2148. Three years ago. These bastards had us here for three years. Well. Metal boxes. He looked at the calendar. Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, jeez. Um Tia, I don't know if you can hear me. What the fuck? I'm in some sort of uh, Ew Ew sure to call it. Where am I? I'm down here. Okay. Oh hell no. Oh my Some... god! There's moving in there. Ew. It's alive. I'm saving the game again. This is this is not cool. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, you know what? Mm, I save the game. Oh no! Uh-uh. <gasps> oh, you kidding me, right? He's not gonna- I can't even try to fake jump in. <gasps> I wanted to see if it would happen, and it happened. Ew, dude! I was gonna be very disappointed if it didn't happen. I'm gonna just load because I know it's in the next room, but I wanna make sure I have all that stuff read and mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay, let's go look at the generator. Oh, it still has fuel in it. Okay, so there's fuel. Oh! Okay. Uh okay. This was crackling. I Can we break it? Easy. Can we break it? Do I have the crowbar? Hmm. Ooh. Can I like Is it drilled to the ground? Or can I like drill the <gasps> Yeah, 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 yeah. Fall, 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 fall! All right, now can I use this? Yes. Okay, now let's see what I can do. I thought the electricity was on that, like shooting. Oh, it has exposed wires. Mm. I guess I need to attach it to the, well, fuck. How am I supposed to get the marks on the engineer's corpse? Leave a little doubt the parts of the body. Okay, so I'm assuming this is what's his face. And there's something shiny on him. A rippling lagoon of flesh. Ugh. Oh, we're not getting too close to the edge. Can I. This isn't gonna work. Can I? This should be useful. Oh, 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 oh shit! I made a little thingy. Oh my god! Don't get too close to the edge, dude. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Nope, nope, nope. I don't trust it. I need to get to that body, but please don't get eaten. <sighs> <laughs> God, 
get away from the fucking... Rest in peace. Okay, toolbox keys. Okay, okay. I like how it's crowbar grappling hook. Uh, let's go open his toolbox first. Maybe he has something that could aid me in my quest to kill the weird flesh things. What's in the toolbox? Yo, jumper cables! Is there anything else in there? Nope. Alright. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, beach. Give me that. Gonna put it on this me. Goes on here. Give power to that. Oh shit. And this goes over yes. here. Yes. Turn it on. Yes, bitch. Bye. I know it sucks, dude, but like, they would have eaten you, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go do that again. One more time. Alright. So we should be able to get across now. I'm scared. Ugh. Uh, are those the engineer dude's hands? Oh, gross. This above the water. <laughs> Ugh. Um. Did you see that? That's moving. That still looks alive. I thought I killed everything in this vat. So yeah, can you hear me? I'm working on getting out of here. I can see a light far above me. Gross. I think it's a way out. The metal staple of the terminal case that controls VAT 13, VAT 11, and VAT 12. Let's start with 11. Oh! Mary has a little lamb. Its fleece was black as coal. When Mary went to bed one night, I ate her fucking soul. Your poetry is beautiful, sir. Anyway. Uh, report on 52A. Subject, subjects peer developed bone and tendon structure prior to vital organs, but following nervous system development. Growth of muscles began to progress. One specimen ceased to grow and was confirmed dead. Upon autopsy, three extra vertebrae were discovered as well as two ribs. However, only a few teeth were found deep within the mandible. Oh my god. Growth of all specimens is accelerated. Any given clone measures just under seven feet and possesses the auxiliary ribs and vertebrae observed in the failed subject. <laughs> Bio organs are present and appear to be performing normally. Despite the abnormal rib and spinal developments, the clones seem to be perfectly functional and fully matured. One, however, was rendered blind as a result of improper sphenoid, sphenoid development. Okay. Hello, my name is Blank. Oh, this person was going to be a parent. Uh, standard growth enhancement agents, 150% concentration plus additional growth hormones obtained from Project Seed and complete human clones. Intended for harvest of pulmonary and coronary tissue. Products developing at 800% acceleration from the selected control group. However, several anomalies have occurred. Anomaly example, a tissue mass has developed into a tail of sorts. It circles the vat, using the aforementioned tail to propel itself. Mass with tail pendant has been assigned a name, Samantha. Despite the previous belief that the circling behavior was a product of instinct, it is now clear that it has been surveying the rat's electronic safety net. It's searching for vulnerabilities? Oh, God. Samantha has been extracted and moved to security for temporary storage. She thrashed violently upon removal of damaging equipment and other specimens. Great. Great. Roof agent enriched with additional amino acids, 300%. Oh my god. Attended for immediate research. Specimens began to move about the vat immediately during the embryonic phase. Oh lord. All subjects development get nearly 500% acceleration. Effective growth agent concentration on subject development ruled par parabolic rather than linear. 
Multiple subjects have combined to form a larger mass of uh, anthropoid limbs and organs that surfaced, and then it was ruled deceased. It appeared to be composed of approximately 12 human-like bodies, all roughly infant-sized. Batch has been active for 96 hours. Development of other subjects remains regular. Oh my god, dude. So I can't look at these. Um, what? Oh, he needs to go up. Okay. Uh, well, he won't. Do I still have? Hell, yes, I do. He better take that with him after he uses it. Like, this is awesome. Get up there. Get up there. What the fuck are you doing? Get up the rope! For a second, I thought he was just gonna jump up and grab the crossbow. I was gonna be like, Bitch, why'd you even put the rope there? Shit. No! Uh uh. No, 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 no. He should have gone back down, got the rope, and used it again. Place. Because that thing is so useful, I can't believe he left it there. Fuck. Okay, I guess we're just gonna keep going up because I hate everything. Hey, kind of. Is this a <laughs> Graffiti. Boarded up tram. Where the fuck am I, dude? Tram line in shadow. Do I go this way? Yes. There's some sort of interference with the structure. Uh, I'm in a tram station. <laughs> <gasps> What was that? Y'all saw that, right? Nuh uh. Nuh uh. No. No thanks. Mm -mm. No, don't trust you. <gasps> Did you fucking see that thing? It was on all fours and I hate it. Mm mm. Mm mm. Nope. Nope. I'm good. No. I don't want to go in there. Is there a walkway there? I don't know what's going on over here. Um, I hate it. <gasps> the tower. I am pressurizing the raw materials containment tank. What? Yeah, come in. John. What is happening? I can hear you. You just disappeared. No radio, no PDT. Who the hell was that? What the hell is Milan? Yeah, who the fuck was that? Budget. Clown. Who knew you? It's a big ship. Um, I'm in a different division to entirely. And you met him once. A real asshole. He seems like one. Uh, just oh, okay. That's there the we plan. go. Okay. The tower. You mentioned the fuck? you lost my feet. Seven. Tag. Every person on board has one. What is going on? Animals. The tags monitor everything. Uh, Security sounds great. access, food intake, location tracking. Everyone has a tag. We can use it to find my family. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that, John. Why not? Like hell it doesn't. If I'm tagged, then so are they. It's said. How can I only access your tag because the dot make scanners registered you? I'm scared for your family, and I can't pick them up. Are they... are they on the ship? Have they been rescued? It only means the PDT has <laughs> been activated. But I still have an idea that might just work. Okay. I hate it. I love how these tags do everything, but they conveniently don't track. Unless you're registered to a scanner. <laughs> 
bottles. You should be close to an infirmary with a DNA sequencer. A DNA sequencer. If you could get your blood into the sequencer, I could scan the ship for familial DNA. Oh, that's and cool. And then we can find your daughter. Then... We can use her DNA to find Ellen. Exactly. Notice. Reserve power facilities are online. Backup systems are now enabled and functioning at benchmark levels. The outside temperature is minus 218 degrees Celsius. Okay. Can you look at this machinery? To see? Okay, don't look at the machinery then. An endless storm of static. <laughs> When I come into a room with all this stuff and bodies like this, I don't trust anything. I cut his wrists. This whole shift change thing is kind of strange. Putting Ronald in security when he's obviously not equipped strikes me as irresponsible. Oh well, I'm sure I can compensate. Mm -hmm. Notice we're not telling us to follow the new security guidelines this evening. I wonder what happened. It's only a few extra doors to lock as far as I'm concerned. Easy enough. Yeah, uh-huh. Food supplies are stalled and people are getting nervous. Someone's been distilling alcohol, despite the fact that express authorization, authorization is required to even possess it. Ivan was describing the concept of moonshine to Ronald, and the guy asked how moonshine could exist. If we're in a spaceship so far away from the moon, I swear to God, if aliens aboard the ship and pick us off one by one or something, I want to see Ronald go first. I really want to do something about this alcohol situation. It's my duty to ensure that the Groom Lake's crew is secure and that important research isn't interfered with. At least I'd like to believe so. These clowns don't share this sentiment. The ass end of the ship. I love how two people have already used ass end of the ship. The term is, is A+. Plus. The ass end of the ship just started exploding and jolted everything that was bolted down. There's a goddamn pen stuck in the wall next to me. I can only imagine all the people injured right now, but can't leave on the account of the lockdown. Lockdown or not, Station B's fucked, so getting to medical isn't happening. Someone suggested that we could use the specimen transport track, but that's shady as all hell. There's no leaving the security center now. Staring at Ronald's lifeless body is a fucking superior alternative to being ripped apart by whatever's outside. I hear screams. They're distant and muffled. Silence. 24 hours of silence. Not a scream. Not a footstep. Still not a word from Ivan. The guy looked away from the atmosphere control room just before Ronald pulled the plug. I got bored and read Ronald's file. He had a lot of stuff running really deep. Maybe he wasn't ignorant after all. That's it for the water. Ivan refused to drink anything but moonshine. I tried my best to get him to have water. Stubborn bastard wouldn't hear it. He hasn't moved in a while. Well... That sounds about right. For just drinking moonshine. It tilts back at an angle that will hold the body for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Ivan. This new guy, Anderson's really something. Five minutes in the door and he's already asking what all the computers do. I like it. He's inquisitive, just like my boy back home. I'm glad he got put here in the shift change, but I'm disappointed that neither of these two are ladies. I could use some female company. Okay, maybe Anderson's a little more confused and inquisitive, but his heart is in the right place. I can respect that. But Sarge? How in the hell the boy gets Sarge from Serato? Paul's just plain obnoxious. Food's not coming for a while. Fortunately, somebody's been making moonshine. It's not the white oak whiskey from back home, but you don't come across much liquor in space. Looks like I'll be, quote-unquote, moderating supply, so to speak. Hodgson just tried to arrest someone. Prick. Rations are in. Good thing, too. Liquor wasn't keeping the crew at bay like it used to. The entire ship smells like shit. It's always been bad, but it gets worse every day. It's even a different type of shit every once in a while. Beyond me. Groom Lake is on lockdown. Tremors, power outages, and several injured. Some guys left three days ago to repair a tram station. Haven't heard from them since. I can only fear the worst, and I don't want to wait to figure out what's been going on here. Paul and I have agreed on a solution, but Anderson isn't grasping it. I don't expect him to. I knew Anderson would have trouble coping. I knew he would understand. At least he went easier than we will. He saw so much in his short life, there just wasn't room for more. He'll never have a funeral. Nobody back home is going to think of him and wonder what happened. I think Paul and I are the only people on the ship who knew him by name. Maybe that Samantha girl he was talking about still remembers him. Her dog could be named after him, or maybe he picked her a flower and she tucked it into a book. I never did read much, but right now I'd love to be holding a book. Poe would work. He's the only author I know by name. Wow, dude. I haven't talked to Paul. He thinks I'm drinking. But I'm too preoccupied with Anderson for that. I figure I'm writing this for a reason. What if nobody ever reads it? What if the ship just drifts to the edge of the universe dead and empty? 
If you exist, if you somehow stumble upon this, remember Anderson for me. He reminds me so much of how my son used to be. If you don't do it, nobody will. I don't beg. I never beg. But if you're a decent human, you'll know why you have to. Remember Anderson. Barely awake. Typing is an effort. Moonshine is not water. Hodgson had last word. <laughs> you should have listened to him. No, wait. Which one was this? Which guy was this? That's Paul Hodgson. Okay. Why is this lit up? Can I look at- Oh, I hate it. What does that say? Are these like- What is going on here? This one's fucked. That one's fucked. Okay. Crew quarter security logs. Wait. November 2nd. Alcohol is being manufactured distributed aboard the Groom Lake. Security has opted to take an approach of non-intervention. Is Its effects on morale will likely prevent theft and potential rights associated with limited rations. However, security will regularly confiscate quantities of alcohol to moderate supply. Rations have arrived and been distributed. Very few reported or evidential cases of theft. This can likely be attributed to the morale increase speculated as a result of the distribution of alcohol. Specimen Samantha received for transport to laboratory 18. This specimen from the cloning vats is contained in an iron lung. Transport needs to be arranged quickly. Specimen is scraping against the inside of the containment unit. Ugh. Tremors have struck the groom lake. Power outages and severe injuries have been reported. Lockdown is in effect. Christmas. Four crew members have been reported missing while attempting to restore a tram station to working order. To prevent further loss or injury, the corridor has been sealed and flooded with highly corrosive gas. Great. Um, activate motion detector. What the fuck does that do? What did that just do? I'll need to figure something out here. Uh, okay. Alright. So we can't do anything with that yet. Let's go into the con. Once we know where Becker is, how can I get to her? Becker. There is another tram through the crew quarters. Once we know where you're going, we'll move forward from there. More trams. More trams. Oh, another dead body. Oh, geez, Louise. Frosted glass door. God forgive us. Smile. Yeah. I'm gonna get right on that. Nope, there's another dead body. You know what that means. All right. Can I look through here? <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Da, 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 da. There's another door here. I don't see an access panel. It must be the secondary containment. Give me some time and I'll see what I can do. Okay. I wish I could do something. Something more. Dr. Rick Graham. I'm getting sick of this bumps and scrapes bullshit. I didn't get this degree just so I could stitch idiots up when they accidentally stab themselves with a pen. I wouldn't do fun experiments. Is that too much to ask? It's not like I want to be a mad scientist and sew new arms into people or anything. All the human spiders would be cool. This guy sounds like a douche. It's a miracle. Security somehow ended up passing a container from one of the cloning vats onto me. It's labeled Samantha. They understand it's to be- They understand it's to be transferred to Lab 18, right? Oh well, no reason I can't observe it for a while, right? I'll have my loyal assistant Miriam make up some good excuses for me. This creature's marvelous. The notes included don't say much, but I'm pretty sure that she didn't have a fully formed spine when they packaged this girl up. It describes her as just being a tail. There's some other bones as well, but I didn't major in monster anatomy. I wish I had, though. You can't make this shit up. The fucker grew eyes! I mean it! She did not have these last time I checked. The rudimentary shirt, but they just grew. They follow me around. At this point, I'm gonna take credit for Samantha entirely. Oh, okay, because you did everything. I mean, they can't prove there's anything more than some stem cells in that container the last time they saw it, right? From now on, Samantha's mine. I can't see- I can't wait to see what she turns into. Lab 18 is definitely getting suspicious and impatient. I'm running out of excuses for why I haven't transferred Samantha yet. I need Miriam to stall a bit longer. I read her PDA, so sh I know she wants to turn me in. She wants my job. Fortunately, I have video of her screwing the guys from the lab. All of them. So there's my job security. Oh my god. This just got serious. The tremors knocked me over the counter and I twisted a muscle in my knee. It's gonna be a long lockdown spent bandaging up with the, bandaging people up without any access to the full medical wing. Samantha isn't mine anymore. Some other poor fool can take responsibility for this one. Oh yeah, now you're gonna Oh no, she's so bad, so she's not mine anymore. Ugh. I heard shrill screams coming from the entertainment area. The first and last time I performed surgery, the patient woke up and started screaming her head off. Something about seeing your own exposed ribs really bothers people. Wow, this guy. 
Anyway, these screams are like that, only more intense. They're the screams of the dying. I've locked the emergency bulkhead. No sign of Miriam. This guy's a douche. Douche! My nose. The hell is this? Wow, it is bloody in here. Uh, DNA scanner. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is this where Samantha is? No. No, I'm scared. Let's go look. <gasps> I'm not sure. <gasps> I love that they start his sentence, so you're like, oh, you're not gonna see anything, and then right in the middle of the sentence, they're like, just kidding, here she is! Mm, is that like a... Is that like a... My imagination's playing tricks on me. It's not. Don't... Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's creeping in there somewhere. That's not broken. Whose PDA is this? Oh, it's Miriam. Okay. Dr. Graham is up to no good. This weird pod accidentally, arri accidentally arrived at our medical bay. It holds the most terrifying creature I've ever seen in my entire life, and he says it's beautiful. He wants me to find excuses for why it isn't being transferred to Lab 18. Good thing the guy's there like me. I'll help him keep it a secret for now, although I might get his job if I get him kicked off the Groom Lake. I'll keep an eye on what he's up to. Interesting. This thing is growing all sorts of body parts at ungodly rates. The notes say it was just a tail and some flesh at some point, but I don't even see the tail anymore. What kind of fucked up experience are we doing? I love how so many people on this this ship are like, what are we even doing here? Fuck, I'm locked out of the medical bay and Dr. Graham has locked himself in there with that thing. We need to help these injured people, insufferable prick. They want to use the specimen transport track to get the injured crew members to the medical wing, even if the ship wasn't falling apart. That's a terrible idea. It's funny to see everyone frantically typing away on their PDAs. Who's gonna read it? Me! I'm gonna read it! The surface of whatever planet's gravitational- Planet's gravitational pull the lifeless groom like gets sucked into doesn't care about your damn feelings. Miriam... I like you. Okay, so here's the DNA scanner. So what was the deal? There's another frosted glass window. Oh shit! Okay, I thought something was gonna hit it. So I need to put my blood in the DNA scanner, right? The device appears to analyze the DNA. I think this is okay. It. Excellent. We need to get your blood sample onto the receiving tray, and uh, I'll do the rest. Okay. Um, I was gonna say I have an empty syringe right here. Hey there. Take your blood, John. All right. And then. Uh, here? Here? Here. No, here. <laughs> Somewhere. Here. <laughs> there we go. Right in the middle. Okay. Okay, it's working. Receiving the genetic info. This is good, John. This is excellent. <gasps> Wait. I can hear something. Oh my god, was that Samantha? Did- did- no. 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 Sure. <gasps> no, shut up. <gasps> Yo, what the fuck? Samantha? No. There's no fucking way. I wasn't a crew member. I wasn't even a person. I was, I was an animal. The upload finished. I'm going to start the scan now. Tia, what's going on? Human experimentation. Heard things. 
You've well, read it in all the, the PDAs. Come on. You have to believe me. Maybe it's one of those fucking things that are Yuri. I grow plants. I don't care for man's pets. Just... Just let me know when the scan's finished. Secondary containment is now accessible. Head through to the other tram station. Oh my god. 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 Uh uh uh. What the fuck was that thing? Uh uh uh. Oof. Hell no. Ooh. Warning. <laughs> Serotonin <laughs> levels are abnormal. <gasps> oh, do we get to go like the mess hall and the sleep blocks and the entertainment block? Hell yes, I'm ready to party, bitch! Elevator shaft, security. Okay, wait. The tram. She wants to go to the tram. It's locked. Let's go to the panel. <laughs> Door locked due to atmosphere control override. Okay. Well. Looks like we're not getting in there until we can fix something. Okay, okay, I'm gonna. No power to the elevator. I'm gonna stop here. Oh, I want to go in the entertainment thing so bad, but it's locked. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for the second part. And uh, I'll be back in the near future with part three of Stasis. And until then, I will see you. Until then, I'll see you later. No. Until then, I'm going to go to sleep because it's 4 in the morning. And have fun. Don't let Samantha bite you in your sleep or whatever. Ugh. Bye. Bye.